so here's how to play Electricity by Dua Lipa and Silk City. So I'm going to touch on the chords and the melody part. So we'll do the chords first. So you just play, um, you just have a capo on your fifth fret, and then you're going to play an A minor. So you put your index finger here on the first fret of the B, your middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger right underneath that on the second fret of the G. And you're just going to strum that A minor chord once. So then your middle finger jumps down here to the third fret of the low E, and you're going to um, just strum that chord twice. So that's sort of a simplified version of G. You just have just the middle finger down, two strums, and then back to the A minor. So we're going to go. All right, then the melody comes in, and we do the same thing. Now we're going to go up to a C chord, but before we do that, we're going to play the G twice. All right. So that um, is basically the same as that A minor, if you take a look at it. But you're just going to bring your ring finger up here to the third fret of the A string. So then we're going to actually go back to the G, then back to C again. So all of that, of what we got so far, we've got... So now going back um, to the the A minor again, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna go back to the G. You you feel like you want to, but we're just gonna stay on the C before returning to the A minor. So after that little intro thing, the full round of chords sounds like this. So that's pretty much what that full round of chords sounds like after the very first little intro of A minor to G. So now moving on in the song, we've got um, sort of a, a funky, um, I guess, build up chorus section that I was playing like this. I'll play it, then I'll explain it. So what that is, is it's starting on the A minor, then it's going to a um, C over B, is what we call that, or sorry, a G over B. So it's kind of a very open sounding G over B chord. So what you do is you set your pinky here on the third fret of the B and your middle finger on the second fret of the A. All right, so explain this strum pattern in just a second and then you're gonna to go to C all right so it's like a uh, this this G over B is a really good walk-up chord so you got A minor G over B to C it's a great way to get to C chord and then of course you got E minor okay now you can play E minor one of two ways you could leave your middle if you're on that C you could leave your middle finger where it is on that second fret of the D and just add your index finger up here. Um, sometimes I like to actually just jump down so my middle finger's on second fret of A and my ring finger's on second fret of D. So, okay. So in case I forgot to explain that C chord, it's just index finger, first fret of B, middle finger, second fret of D, and ring finger, third fret of A. So we've got. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that strum pattern slowed down is down. And the 
easiest way to play that too, if you don't want to do that, I would say just focus on down strums like that. Right, that'll get you into it. Then you can come back and try to add the try to add the funky strum pattern. All right, so let's go ahead and just take a look at the melody section. And what I'm gonna do is just run through this, um, just the different parts really slow and um, explain them to you as I go. So the first riff is, so that's just middle finger, second fret of the G sliding up. Then open G to second fret of D. Then we've got a section that sounds like this. So that's just open B to 2nd fret of G, pull off, to open G. So. Then we've got. So it's similar to the first riff, but just slightly different. So that's kind of where things change slightly. You add your ring finger to third fret of B there. So it kind of walks up at that point. So let's look at all that again. She sings a different riff that sounds kind of like. So a little slowed down. Then the next part is. us into this part. So that is ring finger, fifth fret of D, middle finger, fourth fret of G, index finger, third fret of B. So one more time, a little slower. And the second time. second time. All right, then we're going to go into this. Let's go ahead and try the whole thing once really slow. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and rewind that last section a couple times and just put the playback on like 0.75 and see if you can, you know, slow it down and just kind of 
learn that, uh, that melody there. So I hope this lesson helped you, and I'll see you on the next one.